Hi guys, it's Matt from Max on UK here, and in this video we are going to be looking at how to shatter an object. Now there are a few different ways in 3D to be able to shatter objects, so you can go for the simple deformers, or you can go from the explosions, or of course you can go for the Voronoi fracture. So in this tutorial we're going to have a quick look through some of those different ways and get ourselves going with it. Okay, so let's take a, a simple object at the moment and let's give ourselves a sphere. Now shattering this using the original deformer with a shatter um, is really, really simple. So we just put the shatter object as a child of the sphere. Okay, and then you can increase its strength and you can watch it shatter into loads of different pieces. Its end size is at zero, so you can just do, you know, one and that's sort of like the percentage, the scale of its, you know, shattering. Now that's, you know, a relatively simple and easy way of putting something together, but it doesn't give you a great deal of configurability. There's not much else you can do with that really. You can sort of change its end angle and its size and then its randomness and then its strength, but really there isn't much more you can do with it. So if you're looking for something more, then let's try something else. So another one of the uh, deformers in here, which is really useful, is the TNT explosion. Um, so let's just put the explosion FX in there, and you can see you've now got a better ability to sort of shatter and destroy objects. And you can use this green sphere of influence to control its, its time of the explosion. And you can see that you've got a little bit better control here, and you can see that we've got much nicer shapes and we've got a hull now as well and all of those settings are in here that you can choose and, and change and depending on what it is that you want to create so you've got cluster, you've got cluster type automatic, you can do individual polygons you can do automatic, you can do tags and things like that so you've got some you know nice selections you can lower or increase the number of polygons that it will use in one particular one and that's not bad you can also choose its direction of gravity so if you wanted no gravity and it would just explode outwards continuously or you can you know you know edit and experiment with others so exploding upwards for example and that's quite a nice way of destroying something but what about the last one? So a little bit more of a realistic one is to go for the MoGraph's Voronoi Fracture. So let's create ourselves a Voronoi Fracture and put the sphere inside and you can see that we instantly get these you know, fractures. Now there are a few tutorials, um, certainly done by me, that go into Voronoi Fracture. So I'm not going to go into too much detail with this one, um, but do have a look on our channel and see if there are others that you know you can utilize to help you. So how to quickly shatter this into a loads of different places. So using time which is quite nice and using proper dynamics. So with the Voronoi fracture selected I'm going to go to tags and then I'm going to go to simulation tags and I'm going to give it a rigid body tag and then the plane I'm going to go to tags and I'm going to give it a collider body and then simply press play and watch it shatter along the floor. Now that's quite a nice and easy and simple way of getting something to shatter realistically and you can use its settings to choose how much you know friction there is of it bouncing around and might just increase the friction a bit so that it, they don't slide off quite so much. Oops that was the bounce. Um, 75 friction there you go you can see that it doesn't they don't slide quite anywhere near as much and they just sort of fall to the ground now so that's another different way of shattering there are some tutorials on the Voronoi fracture in more detail I hope this was just a quick useful tutorial in helping you get to grips with different ways of shattering an object and I will catch you next time